Hey, it's your boy and only from Sweden. Today I'm going to be talking about which is the best case in CSGO. And I'm going to prove it using statistics, math, and science. <laughs> but before that, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins, and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus, and if you use the link in the description or put the code Anomaly, you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways, which you can join for free. So if you want to try them out, then please use the link in the description. And thank you, Skins Monkey, once again for sponsoring this video. Well, hey, thank you, Skins Monkey. Now, I guarantee you that if you've ever opened cases in CSGO, you've thought to yourself before buying the cases and the keys, hey, Huh, which case should I open? Which is the best case to open? And if I open a case, how much money am I gonna get back? And which case will I get the most money back? Well, I'm here to answer. Now, in many videos, I've been using this site, which is called CSGO Case ROIs. But as you can see, it only has the cases and I don't think it actually does the value justice. So while browsing Twitter, I found this site, csroi.com. Before I sound like T. Martin, hey, I found this. This site, this isn't a sponsor or anything, I simply just found this site and I thought, hey, that's pretty cool, I can make a video about that. Because CSROI doesn't only have cases, they have souvenirs, patches, stickers, autographs, music kits, pins, graffitis, everything. Now, before we start, you need to know what ROI is if you don't already know it. ROI means return on investment, which means that if you use the key, 2.5 dollars, plus the case cost, which in this case is 0.5, how much of that in percentage, you're likely to get back on average. And as you can see, this one is 56%. That's not very good. And your chance of profit then is only 5.4%. But if you're a unsavable degenerate like myself, you might still want to know which one has the best ROI. According to CSROI.com, the case with the best ROI is the CSGO Weapon Case 3. Now, this case has a return on investment of 74.56%. Which, if you compare it to things like scratch cards and lotto and shit, you know, that's, that's pretty shit odds, I think. But it's CSGO at the end of the day. It's loot boxes. It's not real gamba, guys. Haha! <laughs> and the case with the highest profit chance is also the same case, yes. Unsurprisingly so. What you can do here is also simulate the odds. We can pretend to open a case. So we're gonna spin this and see what do we get. Ah, a blue. Not surprising. Which quality do we get our blue in? We get a field tested. Not surprising there either. Is it stat track? Nope. What's the pattern? 862. And finally, which blue do we get? We get the Glock 18 Fisser, which is $1.7. So you can see, if you ever, if you ever itching, itching, wanna open some cases, just go here. Don't do it, bro. But what's very interesting, and the main reason why I'm making this video, is because everyone just thinks, oh, what's the case with the best return on investment? But you might not believe it when I say the best return on investment isn't actually from a case. You can see, if we enable, for example, souvenirs, the ROI goes down down a lot. The cash collection has the best one on 32%, which is basically daylight robbery. If we switch to patches, you can see the best one's got 58%. Yeah, okay, that's decent, you know. If you choose to open pins, it's got a better ROI with 62%. Garafitis, 77%. That's actually very high. You can, of course, also check autographs. The best one is 106%. I don't believe this, but I'll get to that a little later. And if you really want to cause pain to yourself, you can check past operations. Here, you can see if you open things in past operations, how much would the ROI be right now? Well, if you open, for example, the Operation Riptide patch collection or the sticker collection, well, the ROI is over 600% on average. So, yeah, if you open stuff in Riptide and you kept them, then that's a massive W. But what I'm here to talk today about are stickish. Because if you check stickish, 
Geekish, you can see the best ROI is the ESL1 Cologne 2015 Challengers and also the DreamHack 2014 Legends Holofoil, which has basically the same return on investment. And you can see these capsules are pretty expensive, you know, $30, $20, this one's $230. And if you scroll down to another one that I have myself, the Atlanta 2017 Challengers, this one is $86. But the return on investment is 73%. And on the DreamHack 2014 one, it's 88%. So leagues above any CSGO weapon case. So yeah, next time you ask yourself, huh, what should I open? Maybe you shouldn't open cases. Maybe you should open stickish instead. And to actually prove this point to you mathematically, I have gone ahead and bought three of these Challengers capsules and a DreamHack 2014 Legends Holofoil. This orange capsule is 236 euro and these Atlanta ones are 76 euro. So very, very expensive. But I'm here to show you the return on investment works. So in theory, this Atlanta 2017 Challenger Holofoil capsule should have a return on investment of about 80% with a very good 17% chance of profit. So 76 euro on this Atlanta Challengers capsule. Let's see what we get. Yeah, yeet. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a hundred euro capsule almost. Oh no, that's got to be shit, right? I guess here you can see, live right before your eyes, that the ROI maybe doesn't always work. The Mouse Sports Holo is 56 euro. So we lost like 25. Damn. It's not too bad though. Let's open the next one. Theoretically, this should be some of the best capsules, cases, just openable things in general in CSGO. So hopefully we're gonna see... If we get something good, let's see here. I wouldn't mind having, like, uh, a foil. No! <laughs> That's so bad! How much is this one worth? North Holo East? <laughs> Why? I forgot to mention this. If you go to the capsule you want to open and here click view ROI percentage, you can see the skin you really want is a face foil, a G2 foil. Basically any foil is very good profit, which is a one in six. And sadly here you're going to be losing, you know, the worst one would be gold sent holo. The best one would be a G2 esports, which is worth $100. So let's see for the last one. Surely that good ROI is going to set in. Yeah, yeet. Okay, that's 300 euro almost in uh, down the drain. <laughs> We just turned this much euro and we turned it into this much, which is, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big loss. No return on the investment to be found. The final capsule I want to open to show you guys is this 250 euro holofoil capsule from 2014 DreamHack, which is a very, very old capsule. This one has been in inventories for nine years and hasn't been opened, but today I am going to open it. And according to CSROI, it's literally the third best sticker capsule you can open. And if you include everything, except for autographs, because they don't really count. It's the third best openable thing in all of CSGO. And we're, of course, hoping to get the 28% profit, which, realistically, we're not gonna get. Oh, shit, wait, what? You don't want the foils? That's probably why the return on investment is so good, because the holos is what's expensive, and that's what's kind of common in this case. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, <gasps> Cloud9, it's a sign. Gentlemen, 250 euro case going down the drain. This deserves a subscription guys on this fucking busted ass third channel yeet 250 oh my god please please cloud nine ah nay wait that's bad that's really bad no how much is it 113 we just lost half of our money more than half of our money it doesn't matter guys because we have proven here that the roi percentage really doesn't mean shit so yeah just open fucking cases just open the revolution case whatever it doesn't matter if you get the knife you get it realistically it's a 50 percent chance of getting a knife either you get it or you don't fuck me thank you guys for watching that was a shit show literally just just open any case it doesn't matter <laughs> thank you for watching goodbye